Here we go. Hey, I am walking into the Collector's Gallery. Hey, you know this is going to be a good one. I'm interviewing Sherry once again. Hit that like button if you're new. Subscribe. And hey, while you're at it, be sure to hit that notification bell. Enjoy. 2 Hello Silver fans, this is T and you're in the place to be for Silver Education, Acquisition and Entertainment. And hey, the place to be is Collector's Gallery in Oak Forest, Illinois. Here's Sherry. Okay, hey, thank you Sherry for coming back on my show. Uh, uh, the last video I made with you was extremely popular. Well, thank you for having me again. I know I've had a ton of calls and responses in regards to this, so I'm very excited. Yeah, it's got like 10,000 uh, views, and uh, uh, you may have a fan club for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure people can find a better fan club to, to join as far as that's concerned. Well, everybody thinks you're awesome, and they really appreciated your honesty in the last one. Uh, you know, a lot of times on uh, programs like this, people just want to tune in and hear what they want to hear. Mm -hmm. And I like how you, you know, shoot from the hip and uh, just tell it like you see it, you know? Honesty and, and that's the most important thing in this business. If you if you don't have that, then you're not going to be able to trust the person that you're dealing with. So it doesn't do much for me to be a dishonest person if I want to keep my fan base and my, my customer base. Absolutely. Okay, uh, let me jump into this. Uh, I had uh, a post yesterday. I invited people to uh, ask questions. And um, so this basically this whole video is going to be viewer questions. Okay. I may interject here or there or, or ask for a little more of a thorough answer. But uh, I want to dedicate this one to the viewers. Okay. And the very first one, uh, we're not messing around. We're not uh, holding back any punches. Uh, Mutant Skipper asked a question. And he prefaced it by serious question. He wants to know, and some people in the comment section didn't even think I would ask this. They okay. think they thought I was just going to throw a bunch of softballs at you. Okay. But let me ask you straight up: Why should people support an LCS? I've got a bunch of my own answers, but from your mouth, why do you think people should support their local coin shop? Wouldn't people feel more comfortable going into a local coin shop to hold something in their hand instead of buying something offline and they don't know for sure what it is that they're getting? That, that makes the most sense to me, for people to feel comfortable, especially new people getting into collecting or wanting to invest. You, you want to feel comfortable with what it is that you're actually doing and what it is that you're, what you're purchasing for your hard-earned money. That's so it. going into a local coin shop is your best bet to begin with. You know, even if you decide ultimately that you're, you're going to do all of your business online, mm -hmm. you still want to feel comfortable what it is that you're purchasing to begin with. So go into your local coin shop, hold it in your hand, look at it, talk to somebody, get a feel for what it is that you're, the questions that you need answer, look somebody in the eye. Mm -hmm. You know, looking a computer in the eye doesn't give you as much information as, as being in person with somebody would. Yes, uh, I agree, and uh, there's probably not a single person watching this who has done a fair amount of online shopping who hasn't received something that they weren't quite satisfied with. Right. And they saw some, a picture online, they thought they were getting X, and they got Y in, right. the, ma in the mailbox, and they had some level of disappointment. Of and course. then you either live with it or you got to ship it back, right. and that can be a pain in the neck. Right. Hopefully the company you're dealing with has a... a honorable return policy so mm -hmm. that if you do purchase something that you're not happy with that that you're able to do that you yeah. know that's the other thing with your local coin shop you're you're looking at what it is that you're purchasing first so mm -hmm. you can decide yes i do want to purchase that no i don't want to purchase it you're holding it in your hand you're seeing it before you're taking out your checkbook okay mm -hmm. you know what it is that you're getting sure and uh, I, I like the idea of supporting my local community. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you, wherever you live, you want your community be, to be strong. You want the businesses in your community mm -hmm. to be strong. Uh, that's another reason uh, for me as well. But probably my biggest, Sherry, and this is why I travel all around like a lunatic going to different coin shops, mm -hmm. is I like to find uh, treasures that were unexpected. Yeah. And, you know, I, I could be sorting through a generic bin and find something that I just could, can't believe that I found. So yeah. you find these little treasures here and there. 
uh, online. You see what you get, and mm -hmm. you know that's that's basically it. It's just what's there available. No surprises. No, that's why I love doing what I do. I never know what's going to walk in the door. I'm surprised by something. I. I learn new information every single day there's always something new to be learned and especially when you're in a live environment okay yeah. when you're on the computer i'm not bashing computer sales I, I don't don't get me wrong i'm not bashing that yeah you could save a buck you know going online that's true but sure. Uh, I guess another thing for me is I like the culture of a coin shop. I like yeah. walking in. I like talking coins and bullying. Sure. Uh, I like listening to other people's conversation. Yep. It's just fun. So I guess for me, there's a little bit of a entertainment value. It's not, it's more than just a just a business transaction. It's uh, you know something that I really enjoy doing. Yeah. Me All too. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, hopefully Mutant Skipper is uh, satisfied with hopefully, that response. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, how about this one from JT Money? Uh, what is the most common item in dealer-to-dealer -dealer transactions? And he's going with the assumption that you have uh, some sort of network. Do mm -hmm. you work yes. with other dealers in the area? Of course. Of course I do. A lot of dealer-to-dealer -dealer is uh, mostly bullion sales, gold, silver, platinum, things of that nature, going back and forth. That's just a standard in the industry, being able to mm -hmm. to stay in the loop with what other dealers are doing. You know, just because I'm here in Oak Forest doesn't mean I don't know. I don't care what a dealer in Chicago is doing or what a dealer in Indiana is doing. You know, it's it's levels the playing field a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, it gives you more insight into what their markets are and what my market is. Very good. And so, speaking of dealer to dealer, uh, <laughs> you started out uh, and for anybody who missed it started out as a 17 year old working in a coin shop sorting wheat pennies mm -hmm. that evolved and I won't give the whole story but it, you know eventually you became the the, the coin shop owner mm -hmm. um, and that was over a period of time getting to know these uh, other dealers and breaking into the business mm -hmm. in a, you know, I'll just say it in a male dominated field mm -hmm. uh, what was that like can you give a little insight it was difficult you know it, it took years for anybody to really take me seriously you know it, it's just the nature of the beast unfortunately and to this day I still have men that come in that feel that oh it's a woman uh, I used to have you know men who worked for me especially an older gentleman who worked for me um, and you get a lot of older male customers who would rather deal with the other older male gentlemen well yes. now that he's not here it's it's me or nothing unfortunately <laughs> so you know, you have to kind of suck it up. And once once I get to talking to the people and they realize that I'm knowledgeable, that I know what it is that I'm talking about, I know what it is that I'm doing, and, you know, I'm not fresh off the boat here, <laughs> um, you know, it, it makes them feel more comfortable. Yeah. And uh, also, when, you know, when you're breaking into the business, mm -hmm. you're a youth. I mm -hmm. mean, it's, yeah. a, it's a, again, you kind of touched on it there. Yeah. It's an industry that's dominated by, let's face it, older guys. Mm -hmm. And God bless them for keeping the hobby and the lifestyle alive for all mm -hmm. these years. But um, it's not always easy when you're the one that's 20 years younger than anybody in the room. Right, right. It, it, it does make it difficult. It does make it difficult, especially to to have somebody who's 70 to take a 25-year-old seriously in, mm -hmm. is what it is that they're saying. So, yeah. again, that's the part of, you know, cut coming with experience there's not like there's a school that I can go to that with a textbook that says okay this is how you handle this situation this situation this question this question it's just learning as you go you know earning that experience over time it is what it is well I, I can tell you based on the comments on your last mm -hmm. video you've got the cred you've got the credibility <laughs> a lot of people commented uh, one guy named bullion addict mm -hmm. as his handle on uh, YouTube uh, you know, and others, they tell me you're their LCS, okay. and they respect the heck out of you. Uh, let's go to a question from Chapita Master Videos. What is the best foreign coin that sells well, apart from maples? Again, Mexican, mm -hmm. for whatever the reason. <laughs> Mexican seems to be a hot market. Mm -hmm. You know, when the last time you were here later that day, I bought a bunch of Libertads. Uh -huh. Of all the things that I haven't had yeah, forever, I, I bought a bunch of Libertads. Uh -huh. They were gone the next day. Oh, okay? my goodness. They, that stuff does just does not last. Any type of Mexican silver or gold goes immediately for wow. whatever the reason. I do not know what the... I still don't understand it. But. 
well, is what it is. We're beautiful people, so uh, it would make sense <laughs> that we have beautiful points. <laughs> you do, actually. You do. All right. From uh, my buddy Saltwater Saddle Tramp, he's been a longtime viewer on my channel. Yeah. I'd love to get her thoughts on Chinese pandas. So another um, question about foreign silver, mm -hmm. Saltwater Saddle Tramp has reservations considering what's going on in the world in China, mm -hmm. and it's a communist country, mm -hmm. and he loves the coin, but do you deal with many of those? Do you have people asking for them? I do, I do, because it's one of those coins that they change the design every single year. Yeah. So people who have collected it want to continue on, because uh -huh. here again, it's, you're not going to get the same thing from last year or the year before. It's different every single year. So mm -hmm. it's one of those things that people like. It's a cute design. It they is. always do a really cute design on that. Great for gifts that. for kids, Great too. for gifts, yes. Mm -hmm. Um, and because they, they keep changing the design, they keep interest in their product. So, mm. um, I don't have much trouble getting that. The problem is, is there's a big premium on that stuff. Big. You think the, the U.S. Eagles have a big premium. Go yeah. out and buy Panda stuff. Yeah. Huge premium on that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, but for the people who are collecting it, mm -hmm. I don't have anybody that comes in that buys any quantities of that stuff. You know, they yeah. just want their one or two pieces to fill in to keep going till the next year. So... So it's more of a collector coin yeah. than a stacking coin. Exactly. Hey, gotcha. Exactly. Uh, T Bone, T Bone's Tech, another great viewer. Hey T, please ask if she pays more for one ounce bars than ten ounce bars or hundred ounce bars. Is there a big difference between what you pay for a one or a ten or a hundred ounce bars usually, like per ounce? No, ones and tens. I usually pay the same premium over okay. hundred ounce because I don't have as many customers for those. Mm -hmm. um, I pay a little less of a premium over, but I am still paying a premium over the spot price for those. So mm -hmm. I'm always interested in gold and silver. There's very very few things that I'm a buyer of under the market at, mm -hmm. um, especially in this market now. Okay, there's products just hard to get. So. Mm -hmm. So uh, she's as he's asking the question about you know what you purchase. Do you have any advice to anybody uh, regarding uh, selling their uh, their coins or bars, what have you, uh, to the LCS? Anything? Any advice? Feel comfortable with who you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Again, that's the bonus of having a local coin shop where you can actually physically go in, look somebody in the eye. Um, get a feel for their business sense. Mm -hmm. um, and if you feel comfortable with somebody, obviously you're going to feel more comfortable selling them what it is that you have. I mean, you spend your hard-earned money on that. Sure. You don't want to go in someplace and feel like you're being taken advantage of. Yeah. And there never is a reason for that to happen. It does happen, unfortunately. Yeah. You get a lot of people in this business who don't know what it is that they have or the value of something. Mm -hmm. So find somebody you feel comfortable with. I, I guess the other little piece of advice I would give, uh, you know, anybody watching would be um, do a little research online and at least try mm -hmm. to figure out what you have in your possession. Yes, most Don't definitely. Don't just go walking into a pawn shop with a random bag of coins from Grandpa right. and expect to get anything even close to fair. I tell people all the time, don't take, um, you may come in here and you may like me, okay? But feel comfortable with what it is that you have and what it is that you're doing. Go go check it out with other places, mm -hmm. okay? Make sure you feel comfortable with what it is that I'm offering you, what it is that I'm telling you. You don't know me from Adam, okay? You don't you don't know. You, know, you see me on a YouTube video, okay? That, that's that I'm just a, another person out there touting gold and silver and coins and things of that nature online. Mm -hmm. Go in, look somebody in the eye, feel comfortable with what it is that you have. Shop it around. Mm -hmm. Make sure you feel comfortable with whomever it is that you're selling something to, mm -hmm. that you're getting the best price that you can get. Absolutely. Okay, guys. Hey, this is the uh, part of the video where I show you what I purchased. And uh, hey, there's going to be a surprise here. This is the end of part one. What I just purchased is a first for me, and it is so cool that I am not even going to show it now. Uh, you'll have to tune back in to part two of my interview with Sherry. In the meantime, if you want to get your fix of coin shop videos, click on that playlist that you see on the screen right now.